the, the combat in um, Star Trek Online is fun, but it's not like Star Trek combat, not really. It's it's just an MMO, really. I mean, not just an MMO, it's cool, it's really cool. And I like it, but I suppose it's more like the battles of Deep Space Nine, which are kind of frantic and crazy. It doesn't really feel like you're flying a, a starship, it feels like you're fighting a big, heavy fighter, you know, even with the big ships. Because, you know, and the, and the combat is like, oh, you know, you, you, it's about DPS and applying conditions and boons and things like that. It's, You don't get, I mean, in this, you get the sense that these ships are huge. Not, so, not as much as it could. I mean, imagine if you saw, like, people flying out when you destroyed parts of the hull. It'd be so cool. <laughs> there was one really scary thing in Enterprise when I saw um, an episode of that. And, and Enterprise was pretty bad, except it started getting better around the third or fourth season, but then it got cancelled, so. But there was a battle scene, uh, spoiler alert, where um, a ship, uh, the bridge was destroyed, like, and you saw people fly out of the, the hold of the bridge, where the bridge was, and that was really, really disturbing, because, you know, you can kind of look at this and not think about the fact that there's a thousand, a thousand people on this that I'm about to destroy and lives be extinguished and burned up and killed. Um, I mean, obviously not really, but... You know, it's kind of sanitized. It's just like, oh, this is like it's just a ship with some holes in it now. It's not like there's now bodies floating in space behind it, which has been flung out into space after I blew a hole in it. <laughs> but of course, it is. Pretty horrific. Um, that doesn't bother the Klingons. <laughs> I do uh, wonder where the Klingon society is going because a warrior culture is not stable. It's just they can't, you know. They're. I hope they'll take. Their, I mean, in terms of Star Trek future, you know, I hope they'll take their place uh, in the Federation one day and look past their warrior honor and embrace a more enlightened philosophy. I mean, the thing is, Star Trek is all about tolerance, but not tolerating the intolerant, you know, you can't tolerate murder, you know, because murder is very intolerant of life, so, um, right, I'm supposed to, okay, I guess I'm just going to do this, like, let's, let's see, uh, how do I, target mode, change targeting list, all ships and objects, okay, so, okay, Ipris 1A and Dorian Mining Facility. Uh, what about this ship? Dorian Research Center. Have I got to target a subsystem or something? Is that how that works? Um, okay, let's try that. Target subsystem and Dorian Research Center. Okay. Can I hit it from here? Not sure. Let's try Dorian replicators. It's over there. Can't tell if it's on the other side of the planet though. Oh no, it's not because I haven't hit it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Again, not thinking about what this means. Okay, <laughs> target the. Vulcan Science Academy. That's terrible. Oh, let's just kill people for trying to learn stuff. We're just supposed to destroy non-human, right? Because I don't know why. I mean, I'd sort of know why, but why spare humans rather than? I mean, why are we destroying the Vulcan Science Academy? And where is it? Okay, there it is. Oops. <laughs> just accidentally punched a hole in the crust in the wrong place. You know, because the thing about Star Trek weapons, like, a photon torpedo is more powerful than a nuclear warhead. Um, well, I mean, depending on the yield, but, you know, it's it's a, it's an antimatter device, so it's like as much bang as you can get for the amount of mass, you know, unless you start talking about quantum torpedoes, and well, that's just silliness. Um, you know, the, uh, the devastation you could do to a planet with, with, uh, 
Star Trek weaponry is quite disturbing. I mean, they actually cover it in a Deep Space Nine episode. They talk about the fact that you could destroy the entire crust of a planet within uh, an hour or something crazy like that. Um, and even the mantle. Not uh, although why you would want to do that is kind of crazy. Let's see, Dorian Research Center. So these aren't even military targets. This is outrageous. Okay, it must be on the other side of the planet. I'm gonna go around. Okay. It'll take a while to get into view. Okay, the puppies and kittens distribution center has been destroyed. Uh, what a what a horrors. Uh, the terrible threats to the Klingon Empire that we have to eliminate. Ah, an Endorian mining facility on Ipris 1A. Okay. That's actually quite a long way away. Let's uh, walk there. If we can. Please don't warp into the planet. Okay. <laughs> it's strange. You're supposed to only be able to warp in straight lines, except when you aren't. Depending on the uh, <laughs> uh, depending on the episode, yeah, Star Trek's inconsistent. What, 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 uh, what can you do? Okay, nearly there. That looks so flat. <laughs> okay, um, can we target the subsystem? There we go. There it is. Okay, that thing means it's on the other side. So. Take a while to get around there. We have lost an escort. What? Did he just fly into the planet? You bloody pleb! You. Oh. I hope that doesn't count against me. Not my fault that you can't fly your ship without. I mean, how did you not see the giant planet in front of you? You fool. Where is this facility among all this blurry texture? Uh, somewhere. I think we've got it targeted. Yeah. There it is. Is that it now? How did the Terran manufacturing plant get damaged? Why is it being destroyed? Why is the Vulcan Science Academy... Re what the hell is going on? Why are those numbers... Oh, is that because my sensors are not accurate or something? Probably. Okay, what am I supposed to do now? Strike non-human targets on... something. Don't remind me something. That's all there is, isn't it? Not sure what's going on here. It says destroy non human targets. Wait a minute. The Endorian. Oh, it's just the sensors being f funny. Maybe. Ugh, this is annoying. Why isn't it working? Alright, this is a bit of uh, after the facts oh, uh, post commentary, which uh, is just to save a lot of time. Basically, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out what I was doing wrong. I was doing nothing wrong. The game is just a little bit buggy in the scripting area, unfortunately. Um, so, basically, I had to restart the, um, the mission over again, but I had a lot of trouble actually finishing the first part of the mission, so it took several tries. Also, in between, I actually managed to upgrade the graphics settings. Um, and the resolution. So uh, I'm going to switch to that footage uh, shortly and yeah, take it away past Jim. Okay, I, f uh, I finally managed to get it to recognize that I destroyed the uh, the right facilities on this planet. Oh dear. So I don't crash into it this time. <laughs> I've had a little bit of trouble. Um, uh, I had to restart the mission, obviously, uh, but it kept being a bit buggy. It wouldn't recognize that I'd finished the, uh, uh, that I'd finished off the freighters in the previous, uh, part of the mission, and, uh, you know, and then it, like, the octal wouldn't hail to say that it was done and stuff, and, 
uh, it was getting really buggy and it was actually really difficult to get to this point. I got to this point one, one previous time, but then the other ships didn't warp in and so it was just me and my escorts and we had no chance. Uh, but this time it seems to actually be recognising it, so I, I really hope this will work this time. Um, it seems like... Oh dear. It seems like the primary objectives are complete and maybe once we've got rid of these satellites, Poktar will hail and say that we're done. Um, oh god. Um, so, yeah, hopefully. Oh, I hear some warp signatures. I mean, warp booms, not signatures. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so one thing you might be noticing is the resolution has changed, and the background is back. Um, I, f I, I found a little uh, uh, sort of mod somebody did, which actually uh, allows this game to work, which is pretty nice. Um, you know, work in... Uh, in proper resolution without having to sacrifice the uh, the backgrounds. I mean, they're a bit wobbly, as you can see, um, but this game is totally playable now, thanks to uh, you know, in the way it was supposed to be. Why isn't this being destroyed? Is my targeting system being weird? Weapons, targeting mode, auto. Switch targeting mode. Yeah. It was an auto. Why am I not shooting it then? <sighs> hmm. Oh, there we go. It's taking damage now. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. The USS Shras. And. The IKS Tamagotchi, or whatever it's called. <laughs> Which I believe is fighting it. Let's, uh. Let's warp there and help out with the fighting. This looks like a dreadnought of some kind, but it will dread us because there's more of us than it. Now this is another thing that's... Look at this! What the fuck was that? I did not do that. <laughs> the, the warping is really all over the place. Like, it will just sort of stop and, 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 and twist around and go crazy. I don't really understand it, but... Yeah, let's uh, target some subsystems here. Let's target their secondary target weapons. All weapons. He, say, he doesn't have voice slip for target secondary weapons, so it just sounds like he's saying all weapons. Secondary weapons in this case will be their photon torpedoes. Why am I firing a motor range? Okay. I think the tractor beam, if I use a tractor beam, it lets me uh, lock on better because it eliminates the some of the relative velocity between the two ships. But I'm not sure if that's just confirmation bias. Let's go into offensive mode. It actually helps not to move too fast when you're this close. Oh. That didn't last long, did it? Oh, my shields are down. Where are my escorts? Order them to attack just in case they're not here. Can't really tell. <laughs> yeah, this ship is going down. Look at that. Trying to get some distance before I swing around and attack. This thing is still a threat, even though it's very wounded. Didn't get much out of that. 8% hull. Surrender. Oh, yeah, we don't take prisoners. Don't bother. <laughs> there it goes. Okay. So. Are we done here? No more enemy ships. Ah, uh, yeah, my secondary objective is destroy or disable any Federa. Sir, we are being hailed ah. by Colonel Pakta. Open channel. Cadets, if what I am about to say sounds garbled, it is because I am too stunned to speak clearly. You have all completed your mission objectives uh, satisfactorily. Now, return to base for the briefing. <laughs> Eat a dick, Pogtel. <laughs> Sorry, it's not a very Klingon insult, is it? Okay. The fleet is warping out. Let's head back to the resting system. Warp 7. Finally. Despite the bugs. Kapla. Come on. Engage. There we go. <laughs> Uh, 
All right. Please let this work. I've returned. Please work. There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm for, uh, this game is from an era when bugs were more of an issue. Although I say that in the wake of things like Assassin's Creed Unity. But these kind of scripting bugs are kind of annoying because they make it impossible to complete the mission. Anyway, debrief me, uh, Thokmok. You performed your duty admirably in both the Psalm and Ipra systems. Excellent work, Cadet. Thank you. I mean, Kapla. 